All right, Bloodworth back with some more Zelda Diaries. Uh, just little highlights uh, from my adventures uh, as we're going through. These won't go forever. These won't go through a full playthrough or anything like that. Just as I'm playing it right now uh, until everything else becomes overwhelming. <laughs> just having a good time. Having a good time. Want to share some clips. Here you go. Have some adventures. Obviously, puzzle spoilers, all that stuff is on the table. Just things that I've come across you might not have come across. It's just the way this game works. Going down all kinds of weird rabbit holes. Uh, but, uh, and, and basically, you know, taking a couple of days or so at a time per episode of things that I've come across. Uh, the last one was a little bit weird because we had gone over some of that stuff in the impressions, but uh, this one, I've got some new stuff. Right after we had shot those impressions and I was like chatting with Isla and stuff, um, I was like, wait a minute. And it's hilarious because it's like, I, this, this idea pops into my head. And yet, I've now seen everybody talking about it and constantly doing it. And it's so, it's so really funny to come to the same conclusion as other people around the world or whatever. But, so it's, it's really funny to say it now because it's like, everybody, everybody knows, everybody knows. But I was, when we were talking in the impressions, it's like, yeah, but what else can you, can you really do anything with recall? What can you do with recall? And I was like, but what if you put ultra hand and recall together? It's like peanut butter and chocolate. And then I went out to the woods and no joke, I do not have this clip, I'm sorry. But, uh, and I'm not recording any kind of camera stuff anyways, but I got terrified, absolutely terrified because I go into the woods and I'm, there's some keys. I'm starting to like, you know, shoot some keys. And then I hear this big rumble behind me. And there was a tree. There was a tree walking at me. And I, I do not know what's going on. I have no idea. There's a target icon on the tree. Apparently the tree is an enemy. It starts to like smash its trunk down on me. Like I am just bewildered, confused, and just, terrified out of my mind i'm not even that far from the castle i'm just like right at the start like where is this how is a tree attacking me right now uh and i start to like i had my bow out so i'm just like trying to like shoot it with arrows and i'm like that's not doing any good and, like what the heck um and, and then i'm like okay well what about fire fire it's like okay fireworks fireworks i was good uh, get, get my axe out and like chop the tree down and then finally i got it and then like, <laughs> but I'm, like I'm just so like holy cow overwhelmed kind of moment just was not expecting to be attacked by a tree today just was not expecting that uh, but once i was finished being terrified by the tree uh, love the name evermean great name great name great name um i tried this like okay what if i put ultra hand stack some logs up and like put it on top of a thing and then put it down and I'm like, oh look, I got, I've got my own, I made my own elevator, check that. And I'm like, and I'm like showing the clip to Brad and Isla, who at this point still have never seen this idea yet. You know, it's like, check this out, this actually works. Da, da, da. And now it's like, all I read on Twitter, people like, that they're cheesing like every puzzle by making, <laughs> making their own elevators. <laughs> so it's amazing. Uh, something so basic can feel like you made it up on your own. Uh, that's a really good part about this game. Um... Uh, I found a well lady. I don't know if she'll just pop into a well randomly or if I just found the well that she's in. I don't know. I think I found her. Well, it'll probably be clear from the clip. Maybe not. But I think I found her near like one of the stables going out towards um, Kakariko Village. But I don't I don't remember exactly. But I found her in a and then she's like, there's 55 wells left or something. Um, so that's cool. And then she went back to... Um, I think she went back to the lookout lookout landing area. Um, I found uh, my first car with controls. We talked about that last time at the end. It was like I'd, I'd had all these cars and I had never found a control thing, so I found one with controls. So that was fun. Uh, learning how con you know that works. Uh, I came across somebody with a fashion side quest. And you have to understand this whole so far the past like the first couple of days. The, the game quest, one of my quests was like, dude, where's my clothes? Because I kept going into places with no armor whatsoever, and I didn't also had no cash. So I'm just like, 
oh, this lady is telling me where some clothes are. So, like, there's one of the things I can go do is go find these clothes. And, like, um, and eventually I, I went out there and I was ended up doing a whole bunch of other stuff first. But, um, yeah, got the barbarian outfit and I got the climbing outfit. And then somewhere in there I was, like, able to come across some people and sell some stuff and get a bunch of cash, too. And I got the Hylian set as well. Um, I did the Sky Tower that's not quite to Shika. Maybe it's, it's around there. Um, but, uh, the one it was funny. Isla told me about it in the impressions video, but it didn't click to me at all because I hadn't been there. And then when I reproved the impressions video later, then it was like, Oh, that's the one I just went to where the guy was like, Oh, the, you know, there's a cave with mushrooms and like, and I, I picked up on it right away. And, uh, and basically you have to go down into the cave and then use a send to get inside the tower because the doors have been blocked from the inside. Uh, and it's kind of windy and there's a lot of, um, cave and stuff like rocks that you have to clear with bombs or, or hammers or whatever. Um, but it was funny because when I was about to tell Isla, they're like, Hey, this is what you have to do. I was like, wait, I won't actually tell her. I was like, Hey, the guy with... I did the thing with the guy with the mushrooms. The mushrooms don't matter. He was just telling you there's a cave down there. And then she got it. She got it right from that. That's all she needed. And I was like, oh, ascend. You use ascend. <laughs> like, that was great. Um, I went up there. I think that's where... Uh, I, there's like some sky stuff that I did up there where there were like these hanging um, treasure chests. And there were some old maps that like pointed to stuff in the depths and we'll get to that on the next episode class class viewers i don't know what, how to address you whatever we'll get to that it's pretty cool um <laughs> like a dummy but it's so good i fused a boomerang to a bomb barrel and it was like will this work How's this, what's the distance on a boomerang? And, and of course I tested it by throwing it from very far away. And, and the results are as you expected. Enjoy. Um, oh, I had a shrine puzzle with like, there was like a car thing? No, something with wheels. Yeah, it was like a car thing with wheels that uh, was in the water and I wasn't sure how to get it across the water, but then I noticed that like, the width of these walls was like about the width of the wheels and so I just stuck it on top of the walls and like kind of like let it awkwardly go along the walls but it really didn't it didn't really work but it worked well enough that it got over there so I don't know how you're supposed to do that puzzle well, that was funny um experimenting with ballooning first balloon I found was like in some random place um and uh by, by some of those like crazy tall towers that were they were in the first game too um and uh and so i put this balloon together with the flame emitter the like dragon thing uh and uh just like a wood platform and the first time around it worked all right and then i like it ran out of juice and then I, like recharged the battery and i hit it again and then for some reason when i did it again like the fire ignited the whole thing and so what do I do? I just build it the same way and try again and it worked well enough the second time. Uh, first first time in ballooning. Ooh, I fought a Talus, uh, the big rock monster, with a recall. Took a few tries because remember I still didn't have any clothes. Yeah, this is where I was, I was looking for my clothes. I was trying to find clothes. Um, trying to find the, uh, I think the Barbarian outfit. Um, and so it took me a few tries because I just I don't have hearts, I don't have clothes I'm just getting wrecked um, but fighting that thing and hitting recall at the right time and like the rocks flying back into it uh, that was good stuff that was good stuff oh I love it um, found Hestu then Hestu took off I'm like dude I've got like 40 more seeds where are you going? so I gotta find him again um, gloom hands I don't know what these things are like the trees, they're just terrifying. I, I, I saw them by a tower. And I stayed well aware away from them. Then I found them in this cave near another tower, and there's a shrine down there too. Uh, 
and I was trying over and over to kill these things. And then they, you, you kill them, and then they respawn more. I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. Don't tell me yet, please. Don't tell. That's maybe I should make a ground rule or something. Don't tell me how to do things, because that's this, this is the whole part. This is the whole point is discovering this stuff on my own. <laughs> but holy crap, I I don't know what to do with them yet. Um, I built a dumb long bridge to get across uh, a gap. I might not have needed to, anyways. But build, building dumb long bridges is fun. Uh, built a lot of things to hold up people's signs. I really like that side quest. It's it's fun to, to try different things. Um, I did the skydiving challenge thing where you drop through the rings and you get the wingsuit. Got a freaking wingsuit now. And then I, I beat the time with the wingsuit. That was super cool. Uh, and then I did some uh, some boating. Some boating for treasure. So there we go. 11 minutes. Maybe a little longer than I wanted to go, but there's some good stories in there. So, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, we'll keep this going for a little bit. We'll see how it goes, see how it does, uh, see how it fits into everything. I'm having a good time. And uh, got one more of these I'm going to record, and then I can get back to the game. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, if you like what we're doing, uh, if you like us messing around with dumb formats that, you know, are just basically be sharing about a clips that I may be would have shared on Twitter um, yeah or, or our podcast our reviews coming up our impressions previews ooh good previews I worked on some of that stuff today keep an eye out for previews um, in any case uh, I don't even know exactly when this video will actually go live but thank you uh, and go to patreon.com slash easy allies to support us because we are independent and we are supported by our viewers so thank you very much and I'll see you next time Oh. <sighs>